Hello and welcome to Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight we will be talking about the baffling case of Eric July. How has he managed to fail upwards? Is he really that dumb? And can someone's back be that hairy? Join me, maybe you, and help solve a mystery. Our story starts out in 2016. Trump had just won the presidency, and the left and Hollywood lost their damn minds. Back the winner of the presidential race, CNN projects. Donald Trump wins the presidency. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama. A racist, abusive coward who could permanently damage the fabric of our society. Do the math. Do we really want to give nuclear weapons to a man whose signature move is firing? Firing? Firing things? But we can end this nightmare before it begins. We can save the day. For our children. For our children. For our children. For our communities. For our communities. For our communities. There had always been propaganda and entertainment, but with Trump derangement syndrome so high in Hollywood, it was cranked up to 11. And from then on, movies and TV became predictable. Look. Disasters. I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. This gave way to a new kind of movie reviewer. Not your typical effeminate nerd who just said nice things so Disney would give them free stuff. But a new kind of reviewer who realized outrage farming got your videos more views. Larson. Free 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 Pretty soon a gaggle of these nerds got together and would call everything woke for four hours. The show became pretty popular, but they were missing one thing. A based black man who also liked comics. In comes Eric July to fill in that missing piece. That was it was yeah. that thing. That's why it was so popular because the, it was. It seemed like they were acknowledging their mistake. Like the new yeah. fucking fifty-two. The new fu was a the goddamn, fucked up fifty-two. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was a disaster. It was like rebirth comes in, and they're like, "Okay, we fucked up." Let's Believing his own hype, Eric decides to make his own comic book and fight all the woke Marvel and DC comics with the support of all the people that hate current comics. Eric's first comic is a big success. We made $3.7 million between the books and merchandise during ISOM number one's campaign window. It seemed like Eric could do no wrong, and then it happened. Hello! What's up, guys? Thanks for having me on! Eric, what are you doing, man? Why are you this sensitive to simple criticism? Like, even coming from Ethan, who's like an industry veteran, dude. It comes off as so childish and insecure. You know that, right? I disagree. I think I think you're dramatizing what's happening, but I'm cool with that. You well, read chat, team. buddy. Read chat, because they know. Chat always knows. That's you're cool. coming up for a guy who made 3.7 million fucking dollars that you can't take, like, basic story structure critiques that I didn't I'm even I'm invent. Okay. I'm okay with uh, basic story structure critique. Eric really had to do damage control when it was found out that his comic book was mostly 3D renderings. Um, oh, I've got some news from the Ripaverse. <laughs> <laughs> What we've discovered is that uh, the entire comic is not drawn uh, or traced, but it's actually just rendered with uh, like cheap 3D assets from a program called SketchUp. It became clear that no one actually read Isom, and when they did, it wasn't very good, and Eric couldn't handle even the smallest criticism. One by one, people started realizing what kind of person Eric July really is. It became really clear with what he did to Ethan Van Skyver. Ethan got um, what he calls a quote unquote night letter from Eric um, a couple months ago. And that uh, what a night letter is, is it's a it's an implied threat. Like, look, uh, you can, you know, if this thing keeps going this way, then well, nice channel you got there. Be a shame if someone shit all over it or be a shame if a bunch of people turned against you type stuff was how Ethan took it. Uh, other people don't read it that way. I read it that way. Ethan Van Skyver, a comic book legend, 
was already in hot water with the nerds because he told them what he thought of them. Begin burning some bridges. A lot of people are saying to me, Ethan, make things right with Friday Night Tights. Make things right with them. I wrote to uh, Gary Nerd Roddick, uh, and I did send him a little message. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation about this. Uh, and uh, I, got <laughs> I, got <laughs> I got zero response. <laughs> this is this is Gary's serious face here. All right, so here we go. That is, um, and that's thanks to you. And he was great. And you know what? The guys were great. I have, I am surrounded by the best parasites. Oh, fucking co hosts a guy could ever ask for. Period. Talented, fun. They also happen to be my friends. Not a zero among them. <laughs> Things got worse when Eric July had clip of Versi's channel taken down. An obvious parody account that made fun of Eric. Oh, rip another verse if you don't let me shave you. I'll have the clip of verse. I some cannot save you. Oh, rip another verse if you don't. Eric's stupidity really shone clear when he almost got sued because he was too lazy to Google search the name Isom, which was already trademarked. After calling the Christian organization bad Christians and having his fans harass them, Eric eventually settled with them behind closed doors. Because Nick Rakate Dow is friends with the people calling him out, Eric went on his stream to try to bully Nick and clear up rumors. It did not go well. I hadn't done it with you until you came into my chat on my show after calling me out in fucking public, lying about what I've said. What did I lie about? about oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 buddy. Do you yeah, want to get into wait, this what right did I lie now? About? What did I lie about? You've said this entire time that I've been dishonest and non, uh, right, so what you... is it? Non-objective. Uh, no, well, hold on, man. You don't think I'm objective because what I said was, I think Eric July is on the up and up. I want him to make a fucking fortune. I want him to do everything. But I haven't seen claim. I have not seen sufficient evidence to support that, that, that Dick and Vicky. Now, no, you're, lying. now you're lying. You're, now you're lying. Now you're lying. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're, fucking my, that, no, you're, you're fucking lying because I've never, I've never once made that claim. So now you're lying. You're lying saying that I said you objected because you said those three. You, I, I said, you said that you I'm weren't not objective. as objective as I thought. That's what I said. And that ne never once did I say it was because of you, you saying those three. I will three humbly things. suggest you do not know the definition of the word objective. Please say this. Was delivering a book to the charity $17. I didn't we, want to ask these questions, Eric. Was delivering a book to the charity $17? That was the cost. And I'm, by the way, it was not just $17. And I wish you would, people would say that. That was not the average cost of the book. What was the average cost? The average cost, uh, the average, the average cost, I think, came out to some closer to like $13 or so dollars because we offered it in bundles. So the more money it is that they got, I don't know, is there, is there something that was confusing right there, Nick? I didn't want to ask you these questions, man. Did you solicit a book, a charitable donation for a book for $17 and the actual cost was $13? By thinking he was smarter than Nick, Eric July accidentally made it sound like he was defrauding a charity. Eric was able to get past these accusations, put out some more crappy comics, and rent a warehouse. Eric spent his money as if he was allergic to it. And after already having a bloated work staff and saying never hire woke people, Eric hires the Saska sisters, two sisters that were kicked off Twitter for being too leftist and now are most famously known for doing satanic incestuous piss, horror porn. This is who Eric July thinks will take his comic books to the next level and stop his company from going under. If you or anyone you know can help us solve the mystery of how this one man can be this stupid, please contact Unsolved Mysteries.